Welcome back, everybody. So our next guest walked away from painting but couldn't hide from his true calling. Fast forward 10 years later, he's now creating beautiful masterpieces, and he joins us now, painter Rajwain Newville. Hi, Rajwain. Morning. Hi, Maureen. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's good to have you. Thank you for joining us. You describe yourself, or you are described as a young painter with an old soul. Talk to me a little bit about that. What is old soul about you, sir? <laughs> uh, I think for me, it's more so um, how I paint, especially in regards to landscape pieces. Um, you find that um, in recent times, other persons are more gravitating towards the digital side of things mm -hmm. and all um, heavily more in abstracts. But um, a lot of my paintings are originally have been you now um, landscape paintings, which is usually at old, on the old spectrum of things. Yeah, and hand painted. So you're not you're not interested in the digital side at all. I'm curious, but um, as of right now, uh, my, my heart is with the, the paintbrush. Gotcha, the, gotcha, right. gotcha. So your love for art started when you were in high school at Jago? It, yeah, generally. Uh, because, I mean, I've always drawn in my life, you know, using pencils so forth. But then the painting really came along um, at St. Jago when I was doing um, CSEC art. So therefore, uh -huh. that was the point where the painting really um, blossom per se. Yeah. So I'm curious then, why wasn't Edna or some kind of arts program an option for you? You left school, you went to UA and you did actuarial science. Yes. So, I mean, I was an our own student. So, of course, you know, growing up in a traditional Jamaican home, middle class so we appreciated the arts. However, understanding that you have well, the first priority is usually get a job where um, it's a stable income. Um, the traditional careers per se. So it's not like now where, you know, it's um, the world is totally different. Ten years ago, I mean, the focus um, in my space was still on you know, traditional fields. And I mean, it's an area I loved as well. So therefore, I mean, it's it was the way to go after consulting with parents and, you know, persons you trust, etc. So therefore, that was the route chosen at the time. Mm -hmm. So you got your degree, <laughs> you went to work, and then you were like, mm. I don't like this. <laughs> I want to go back to painting. I mean, how how did they take it? Well, well, I'm not, I'm not fully out of the corporate world. I'm still in the corporate world currently. You're still but, doing, um, you're still doing actuarial sciences now. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the financial industry still. Gotcha. So, okay. yeah. so while still doing, I mean that side of things. You know, we are a total um, being. There are different sure, aspects to your sure. parts of you. So for me, I mean, that part was still missing, that creative side. You didn't have that space, per se, in a traditional um, area to explore your creative side. So therefore, for me, it, it kept calling. I eventually, uh, I responded. Yeah. So, so it's been how many years since you started painting again? 2019? 2020? Come again? Back in 2019. Yeah, 2019. Sorry, back in and then in, uh, yeah. in 2020, you were selected as one of the winners of the Office of the Prime Minister of Jamaica's calendar competition. So obviously that was validation that you were doing something that you really ought to have been doing. Um, yes. Indeed. Yeah. Was that a sign for you? Yeah, it, it was. Um, it was really validation, as I said, because um, you know, you work in this space, of course, persons appreciate your work, but I mean, when it comes from one of the highest offices in the land, it, it hits different. Yeah. It kind of brings you, you know, hey, you know, you're, you're really making a mark. Yeah. So how many pieces do you produce now? And, and, and are you moving art? I mean, are you getting more into it? I mean, this is a thing that I know consumes the people who love it. Is there, a, is there a possibility that one day Rajarian could just be painting and not incorporate? Uh, it's a possibility. Um, of course, it all depends because I, I have a young family. So, of course, you know, you have to be mindful of the responsibilities. Of course. So, I mean, of course, um, depending on how it goes, you know, a lot of persons have been, you know, interested in the pieces. They can't, you know, contact me via Instagram or through um, the gallery. And so, I mean, it's, it's really going well. And I'm really enjoying it. I mean, there'll be times you just come home and you paint until early in the morning. Wow. And you have to go work next day, tired. But, wow. you know, it's, it's what calls to you. 
And yeah. when you hear that call, you'll stop the fulfilling. And the truth is that there's something happening in Jamaica now. I mean, it's taken a while and it may be able to take a little, a little more time, but really and truly people are coming to love and appreciate art. You've always had the art lovers who will spend good money on art, but it's becoming, I think, more of a thing now. I don't know if that's something that you've noticed. You know, uh, what I've, I've noticed is that, especially in in the young person space, young people's space, it, it's it's becoming more trendy. Mm -hmm. So, you know, with, with that picking up, of course, you know, generally older persons will always be interested based on, you know, after what <laughs> you, you brought up appreciation, etc. <laughs> However, but I'm, I'm really happy that, you know, more young persons are catching on to it and know that, of course, this is not only um, something to beautify your house and to speak to you, but also an investment for it's yourself. It's an investment. Key, key, key. Tell them, Mr. Financial Man, art is, is an investment. You pay our money for it today, 10 years down the line. Your investment has doubled or tripled because that's just the nature of art. Um, before we go, I want you to talk to me about the piece. Scott, can you bring up this piece here, this abstract piece with the browns and the pinks and the mustards and the... Um, I want Raj, Raj tell me, talk to me about this piece. It's not a landscape piece for sure, so it, it's anomalous to the other pieces I've seen. So I'm curious about your method behind this. You know, uh, for me, I've started doing um, abstracts um, more recently as well. And I find that in landscape versus abstract pieces, you kind of have a different mental spaces. So for me, in doing an abstract, I'm more free. It's more... As you go along, the image comes to you. Mm -hmm. As you go along, it's the, the expression that um, that the colors um, generate versus a landscape piece where it's almost similar to math somewhat to me, where you, you kind of have a formula. Uh, in with, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So for me, the abstract is more the relaxing and I'm no longer defined by traditional boundaries, but they allow to express whatever comes to mind and the feelings at the time. Very nice. And this one that's directly beside me, is this actually somewhere that you went or is this is this somewhere in your mind? I mean, I guess there are places in Jamaica where this could be, but is this actually somewhere? Yeah, it's actually somewhere. Um, I was heading to Portland uh, with my family and uh, we were headed from St. Thomas side towards Portland and uh, my mom captured the picture um, along the coastline and then she sent it to me and I, I, I just painted from there. Very nice. Rajwe, and if there are people watching who want to get a piece of your art to hang in their home or their office or for whatever reason, where do we find you? Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Rajwe, the artist, that's R-A-J-W-A-Y-N-E, the artist. Or you can email me at Rajwe, the artist, at gmail.com. And finally, you can contact me at 562-5510. So you don't have a, you don't have a Rajwe, the scientist, Email address. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Great, great work. I wish you all the best in both endeavors. Thank you for joining us this morning, Rajwain. Thank you for having me. All right. Painter Rajwain Newville with us this morning. Coming up next, we're talking about the Social Work Training Research Center and the amazing work they've been doing on this World Social Worker Day. Stay with us for more on Smile. We'll be right back.